This weekend is going to be the first Heritage Signature Auction of 2024. What that means is we're about to see some of the most expensive video games that exist in the hobby. Some of the highest grade factory sealed stuff that exists. Some of the rarest games like Nintendo World Championship, Stadium Events. All of that's going to be going for auction this Friday and Saturday. And this video right here is going to give you a little primer on some of the biggest games going for auction. Say thank you to every single patron who helps support the channel as well as the YouTube members. I can't do this without you guys. Hit the like button and let's start with the biggest item or what should be the biggest item in the entire auction 8.0 a cgc tm first print legend of zelda so if you don't know what the heck i'm talking about here first print tm all this stuff on legend of zelda there's a lot of variants like if i just go over to the variant list here you can see zelda came in a lot of different uh, styles there on nes so if we're looking for a first print you got to go down to the corner of the box here you're gonna see there's no text down here later print copies will say rev a in the bottom corner Corner, so no text in the bottom corner here and then right beside the word system you see this little tm logo that there that combination of no text plus the tm makes this an original print 1987 first release copy of the legend of zelda as of right now sitting at hundred and five thousand dollars with the buyer's premium and if you're like oh my god a hundred thousand dollars for zelda like is that good the last time we saw it sell at open auction at heritage was an 8.0 a same grade but from wada where it sold for seven hundred and five thousand dollars that was all the way back in 2021 then we did have another copy go up on golden auctions 9.2 b plus so overall a better copy sold for a hundred thousand dollars less it brought in six hundred thousand dollars and that was february 23rd 2022 this is only the fourth known first print copy that exists there might be some on the vga pop report we still don't have those there might be some hanging out in collections but you get the point that finding an actual first print factory sealed incredibly difficult and when this does sell on friday it's going to be the two-year anniversary since the last one of these we saw go for open auction. So it's sitting at $100,000 right now. I mean, we could see 150, 200,000, 300,000 plus is possible. And then depending on how feisty people want to get with bidding, like Bitcoin's up, tech stocks are up. If people want to get really fiery with this, we could see it like pop off above $300,000. That is a possible scenario. Two years ago, you know, during the bubble, like first print Legend of Zelda and Super Mario Bros and stuff, there was a lot of people saying how common this was it wasn't rare more of these are going to come out and now that we've actually moved forward in this hobby a lot more i'm thinking people might have more confidence in the actual rarity of these early print factory sealed games even something like mario coming up for auction right the uh the best mario bros in this auction is a late print 9.4a currently sitting at 8100 like there are no factory sealed early prints in this auction there is no 9.8 oval this is the best mario bros that showed up for this auction golden auctions did actually just sell a 9.6 a plus super mario bros that was about a week ago now for almost thirty thousand. so even at you know the two biggest auction houses here at both of their elite their best auctions we got a 9.6 a plus oval late print and we have a 9.4 a oval late print so i do think there's going to be a little bit more confidence these days that these early print factory sealed games like they're not just going to flood the market anytime soon but we'll see what the final Final price is this Friday. I'll make a video updating and everything, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see how this all plays out. Going on to a more classic, rarest NES game that exists, 6.5 Nintendo World Championship sitting at 46,800. Now, I talked about The Legend of Zelda there, right? We haven't seen it go up for auction in over two years. Nintendo World Championship, for whatever reason, I, there's there's been more of these on the market over the past, like, one to two years than probably the past 15 years combined. One of the gray cartridges has been coming up for sale like every two to three months for a while now. Just on Heritage Auctions alone, we had July last year, a 5.0 selling for $63,000, as well as September, an 8.0 sold for $96,000. March 2023 for $57,500, this specific copy coming from someone who actually competed in the event, so that was pretty neat. But you can see that for whatever reason, suddenly NWC has been hitting the market more than, more than it should be. Like this game, 
should not and will not be this available once these get sucked up into personal collections again. That's it. They aren't going to come up. So if you are someone looking for one, if you if you want a Nintendo World Championships, I mean, they aren't getting any cheaper either. This one's sitting at almost 50,000 here. You saw the sales for the other one. They're they're hovering in that 50 to 90,000 range based on condition. But just kind of crazy to see this absolute grail keep coming up for auction here. Like that 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 can't sustain itself. It will stop coming up. The best Mario in this auction actually is going to be this 9.8A plus early print Mario Bros. 2 sitting at only $7,500 right now. And I do emphasize that only $7,500 because there's only two that exist in WADA 9.8A plus. And if we go back to 2021, the last time this grade Mario Bros. 2 sold is yes, you are reading that number correctly, $324,000 thousand dollars. So uh, no, I don't think this is going to sell for 324,000 this time around, but it, you see how much potential there is in this item to pop off. We're sitting at 7,500 right now. It wouldn't be weird if this sold for 75,000. For the Japanese folk out there, there is also going to be a Super Mario Bros. on Famicom. This is a later production copy sitting at $2,000 right now, VGA 90 plus. Back in October, we did see a VGA 90 sell for $12,000. So again, with this Mario Bros. Famicom, there's a lot of potential there. And it's gonna be interesting to see if the, um, if we're gonna see a higher price this time around. It is a higher grade copy, right? 90 versus 90 plus. We'll see if there's more interest into Japanese collecting, or we'll see if that price point isn't sustainable for multiple of these Famicom copies to be hitting the market. And of course, if we're going to be talking about Mario, we also have to talk about Sonic. Early print copy here, 9.6A, sitting at $18,000. Yes, finding a complete in box Sonic on Sega Genesis is extremely easy, just like finding a Mario for NES is extremely easy. But finding early factory sealed copies is absolutely not. The closest comp that exists is going all the way back to November 2nd, 2022 for $38,000. That's for exact same grade, water graded. There were also some CGC copies last year that sold for $28,000. That was 9.4A+. A little bit of a different variant there. Still early. I said this might be first prints, actually. One of the Sonic experts will have to let me know if this South San Francisco is first print. I think it might be, and the one that's coming up here is a mid-production. Okay, yeah, they're calling Redwood Address a mid-production copy. So a little bit of nuance there between prints, but we're still sitting at $18,000 on the 9.6A. The 9.4A plus, if this is an actual first print here, sold for almost $30,000 uh, back in July. And just to emphasize again, like Sonic the Hedgehog, across all variants, you can see how many different Sonics you can find out there. Only 43 of them have been submitted to WADA. Not easy to find yourself an original Sonic factory sealed. And we also are going to have some PlayStation at this auction. Two massive games here. Twisted Metal 9.4A Plus sitting at 18,600, as well as Tekken. Jewel, long box, early production here. 9.8A Plus Plus, the single highest graded copy of the original Tekken sitting at 18,600. The most recent sale we did see on Tekken was a 9.6A plus cardboard one. So there's cardboard and jewel, $28,800. And that was only a 9.6A plus. Now we're getting the single only near perfect copy of this game. I mean, it's sitting at 18.6 right now. This Tekken could go 40, 50, $60,000 easy. If there's a bidding war for this, if the millionaires, the deep pocket investors out there, if they want to buy this Tekken game, this could do some serious numbers. The Twisted Metal is also insane, but not a 9.8A++, right? There's a bit of a ceiling as to how high this one's gonna go. Into the world of Pokemon, we have a 9.4A++ Sand Shrew Red text first production copy sitting at $21,000. On the back of early production copies of Pokemon Blue, you can see collect up to 139 different Pokemon playing the red version. There's a typo. So on the earliest copies of Pokemon Blue, it still did say the red version on the back instead of the blue version. This has become a grail for Pokemon collectors. Very, very hard to find factory sealed, nice condition copies of these early print blues. It's sitting at 21,000 right now. There are only 13 of these on the water pop report at this time. The last time a 9.8 
9.6 A++ better condition copy sold was at Golden in September for $54,000. So you can see what I mean when I say this uh, early production blue here. Like this, this is a grail for Pokemon collectors. And for Pokemon Red, the best that came out to this auction, and this is largely like the Super Mario Bros, right? The best Pokemon Red we have is a 9.6 A this time around. Still sitting at $6,300, but a lot of those beautiful copies have been sucked up into collections now. Sapphire is going to be a 9.8 A++. This is going to be interesting to see, sitting at $6,200 right now. And there's also a Ruby 9.8 a plus and just a few more here before we close out 9.4 a plus legend of zelda link to the past is probably the best super nintendo game in this auction sitting at 9300 dollars right now metal gear solid 9.8 a plus plus quietly i think this is one of the best games in the auction this is the single highest graded copy on the water pop report 9.8 a plus plus and the crazy thing about metal gear is if we go back to 2021 even early 2022 a 9.8 a plus sold for $38,000. I didn't remember that this was like a $40,000 game back two years ago. But looking at this now, I feel very confident this will go over $10,000, probably over fifteen. dollars We might go over twenty, dollars and then we'll see what happens with this. Quietly, this is going to be an absolute banger at the auction. As well as this Karate Kid, WADA 10.0. Only three NES games have ever been given a perfect 10 grade on NES. Karate Kid also has a ton of potential. I think the last time we saw one of the WADA 10 games, it was Wolverine and it sold for like $48,000. So this can sell for a lot more than a regular copy of Karate Kid. And the last one is Final Fantasy VII Masterpiece Misprint 9.8 A++. A few months ago, one of these sold for $12,000. I personally thought that was a great deal. This copy is sitting at $9,900 right now. We'll see if this can push above the last sale. Hopefully you can come out to the live auction Friday and Saturday. I'll be live the whole day looking at all the results, streaming the whole auction. Let me know some games you're most excited about for this auction. Hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.